Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting, and this time I want to talk about uh, something that I was uh, was asked for a uh, viewer of the channel. If I can do like a orangey type of skin, uh, especially for tyrannids. So I have this hormagan here. Uh, these are ten hormagans they have in my uh, pending to paint miniatures, and I will try to to share here how to do it or how I will do it. So we will start applying, a, uh, as you can see I primed this on black and now what we are going to do is we are going to apply a layer of XV88. Uh, I'm going to start, this is going to be the base color and we are going to do all except the the caparas uh, protections. So we are going to, I, I will apply this on all what is it's not really skin, but on, on the, we'll say, the less protected parts of the body. I will not care too much on the, uh, if I cover the teeth or not, this will be done later on. But I'm going to apply this on all, all these parts. So, I will apply the layer of XV88 and once this is done, I will come back. So now, next we are going to apply a regular flesh shade on all the skin. Okay, this will show all the different processes. And I'm really testing this as a skin for my... I, I will do just this unit of tyrannids. But maybe in future I will add some more to my army of Gene Stealer Core because they know they, they, they can share yeah, you can have Gene Stealers and Tyranids on the same army they, they sh if they share the same and as I already have Imperial Guard, Loyal and Renegades I'm not yeah it's not I, I prefer to go more on the Tyranid side so we are going to apply Regland Flesh Shade on, on the whole mini -tool. And once this is applied, I will be back again. We will need to wait that this dries before doing any other layer. So this will take uh, some time to dry. And, yeah, and I will be back once this has dried. So once the wash has dried out, next step we are going to use XV88 again. And we are going to highlight all the skin with XV88. So we are going to apply the wheel. So we, for example we can start from a point here and we are going to highlight. This highlight is going to be quite general. It's as well a, a cleaning up. But we are going to leave the deeper recesses with the darker color. Okay, so we are going to for example here. Take this, this but leaving really the deep dust recess. On the face we are going to leave the eye socket but we and the mouth we are going to, to take the, the the teeth itself we are going to do this later on but for example I'm going to do here all the bottom when it's a big flat area I will do this all because we are going to highlight as well on this head here okay this too thin if it's too thin we are risking that we go into the hole I really want to avoid that so we are going to go around the hole We are going to do all the needed highlights, okay? So I will keep doing that. I will work on that with XV88. And once this is on, I will show you what it looks like. But you can see it's quite straightforward. It's almost like repainting the full part, but leaving no, no, you need to be more precise because you want to leave the recesses uh, of the paint job in darker color okay so for example here on the 
rib cage is very easy so we go and we take well, I have not too many ribs this guy but we do rib by rib and then we just highlight okay the middle on the neck we take the middle and then we do as well we do mainly that like that So I will keep doing that and I will show you once all this is done. So once XV88 have been applied, as you can see here, okay, and now we are going to apply a uh, tau light ochre, ochre, or ochre, sorry. So we are going to apply this to do second level of highlights and give this orange looking. So this will give the will change now the character from this brown thing to more orange. You wanted to do it quite thin, and maybe you want to blend it from time to time. Here, what I will try is to work with layering. Uh, we are going to layer this on top to give really this orange look. This more uh, will give more an alien tonality, less. Little bit less natural, but before being really bright orange. So we are going to apply this. And then yeah, I will use a little bit of XV88 just to soften the transitions. Because they will leave quite an orange look, right? So but for example when we go to a part like that we can apply it just a straightforward and it's really sharp parts. This will the objective here is really to change this tonality from this brown that is more like a natural looking to something more alien. Okay. We are going to do for example here what we want to do is to follow really the sculpt, I will do this arm for example here. We want to follow that, okay, and then we want to follow this. I'm going to keep okay then on the rib cage for example I'm going to apply this like 
working on, on the let's work yeah I will keep working here on the face so for example around the eyes I'm going to apply it and then here We are going to do it. So I will keep working on that, I will keep applying this orangey highlight and once this is done I, I will be back. This is how it looks like after applying the Tau Ocre and now we are going to do the final highlights and more accents with Ungor Flesh. So this is really like almost a flesh color. And what we are going to do is, we are going really to focus on the most, yeah, on the most, or, or the brighter points of what we want to put. So, for example, on the head, we are going to go on top of the head. Just to add a little bit more, we can now go here on this part of the jaws. You really want to just pinpoint some of the points. As you can see, the mouth is not do it. I think I will do another tutorial. We'll do another tutorial how to do this type of mouths. I will do as well here because I'm also using this miniature as a test. For maybe a teenage force, very small. Just to, uh, I have these guys, so just to add them. As you can see, this will give. You can see how different it looks like one side than the other. So this gives um, more, more depth, and will give this sensation of uh, a little bit of uh, armored skin, no, of kitten of skin. So we are going to do. I will keep doing that. Well, for example, here what we want to do is I do it like that, and then I follow the shape. Then we do the other side. We follow the shape as well. Then we start from the bottom, and we do the opposite from the bottom up, from the bottom up. Then here, but we have really this super strong edge. We do a little bit, okay. Rip cage again. We want to do just here. Then we start from the outside to the inside. From the outside to the inside. So we'll give this. It's like type of scorpion color. Okay. See, I will. With the neck, for example, you can. Add accent here. Okay. And there. So I will do this part there. And then the tail going from the back to the front as well. And we want to follow the more or less because it's like a very fibrous 
looking so the way to accent that is to do it like, like this so that will look okay and then here on this type of things that the genes the, the tyrannids have We are going to do something like that. Okay. Just you don't, you don't need to do both sides, for example, here you want to add, add just a little bit here, like it's like adding right points to enhance the hack the accents of the you don't need to do all the sharp edges, but you want to do these ones that give here I will try to point around okay and here like that you see the idea right so I will finalize this side so you can see one side completed and the other side will follow the same process so here we I add Here I add that. Okay. Then on this one again I take the top part. I add something like that. This give, give really this type of brightness that is what we are looking for. Now I will take very little and just add it. So here you get the idea, this is one side, this is the side that isn't already done. So you can see how much is adding, just adding these uh, bright points. The only thing, anything here for example, on the tail, I did from the back to the bottom, to the front, but now we should do also from the front to the back a little bit here, and a little bit here. And this how to do this. And really looks quite interesting this color, so I'm quite happy how it looks like. So I will do the other side and I will show you how it looks like after applying all the highlights. So this is how it looks like after doing all the highlights and with this finish. So really happy and I'm thinking to do this on the deep purple as I did with the gel stealer to have a high contrast. So let's see how this works. But this is uh, the paint job on this uh, Hormagan. So, yeah, please let me know what do you think. This was uh, following the request of one of the viewers. But I also find interesting the color scheme. Uh, and yeah, it makes me to assemble these Hormagans that were in my collection for long. It was a one gift that I got a while ago. And I decided to assemble them. So please leave in the comments below what do you think about them, uh, what is your opinion, uh, and yeah, if you like it, give a like. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. 
and see you again later. Bye!